This is our earliest view of the universe, showing it as it was over 13 billion years ago. The photograph captures the patterns made by the microwave radiation which was produced by the Big Bang. Radiation that still exists right now. In the picture, you can see the thermal ripples that we suggested would exist. Their type and size is exactly as predicted, and they form a pattern that corresponds to the galaxies we see today. The theory had been confirmed. The last piece of the puzzle had fallen into place. For the first time in human history, we are able to describe how this world we see around us came into being. Our theories take us back to the time when the universe was born, but people always want to know what came before. There have been various ideas, but for me, the most attractive is that the universe was spontaneously created out of absolutely nothing. This may sound like magic, but such creation is possible. One way to picture the origin of the universe is to imagine it as like the formation of bubbles of steam in boiling water. Tiny universes appear spontaneously out of nothing. Most of the universes collapse to nothing, but a few, like ours, will continue to expand and will form galaxies and stars and maybe beings like us. Centuries ago, the astronomer Copernicus shocked his contemporaries when he revealed that the Earth was not the center of the solar system. Scientists like myself are now ready to accept that our universe may not be anything special or significant. Except, of course, the way that it is constructed has led after 14 billion years to so-called intelligent beings who can ask the question, why is the universe the way it is? The answer is that if the universe were more than slightly different, no one would be around to ask the question.